Hello friends, glad to have you here on my channel. Today in this video, I am gonna guide you for setting up the latest version of RPCS 3 emulator on your PC and laptop for playing God of War 3 game in 4K quality and in butter smooth constant 60fps to 120fps. So don't skip the video. A humble request for my new viewers. My target is 1 lakh subscribers and definitely this guide video helps you a lot. So support me by subscribing my channel. Your every single subscribe motivate me for making more helpful guides videos for you. So please subscribe for helping me reaching in 1 lakh subscribers. Let's get it started. First of all, download the file. Link is in description. Open the zip file. Extract or drag and drop the folder out of the zip file. Open up the folder. This is the emulator which I am using. Open the zip file. Create a folder on the desktop. Mark all the files inside the zip file. Then drag and drop on the created folder. Now open the folder and run the rpcs3 exe file. Click on create desktop shortcut. Untick show at startup. Click on I have read the guide. Click on continue. First of all we need to install firmware. Click on the file. Then click on install firmware. Go to that folder which you extracted. Not this one. Yes, this is. Select the PS3 update file and click open. Wait for firmware installation and compiling. I bet this is the world best setup guide. This video deserves a subscribe. Soon I am gonna upload God of War Ascension setup guide video, so subscribe my channel and ring the bell icon. Now we have to add the game. Click on the file, then click on add games. Select your game folder where you have it. My game is in E drive, look. Select it. Select it. Do nothing. Click on OK. Now we have to update the game. Click on File. Then click on Install Packages. Go to the same folder which you download from my source. This is the update file. Click on it, then click on open. Click OK. Look, the game is updated successfully. Now it's time to install the game patches. Connect to the internet. Right click on the game, then click on manage game patches. Enter your game code or click on only show owned games. Click on yes. Now tick on the same option which I marked. If you want to skip videos and intros, by clicking X button, then tick on this or let it be. Choice is yours. It's optional. If you want more FPS than quality, so untick Disable Depth of Field. Click on Apply, then Save. Now Configuration Time. Right click on the game and click on Create Custom Configuration. First tab is CPU tab. PPU decoder, recompiler, LLVM. SPU decoder, recompiler, LLVM. 
SPU Explode Accuracy Relaxed Explode SPU Block Life Mega Tcon Enable SPU Loop Detection Don't touch anything else here. Let's go to GPU tab. Renderer Vulkan In Graphic Device, select your graphic card. Don't worry, my graphic card is heavy, but you can just need a graphic card. No matter it is too old or new, you will get the same result which I get. Set frame limiter to 60. Z cool accuracy, precise. Shader quality, set high. Let the resolution default, no matter you are using resolution upscaling or not. In resolution scale, if you have low spec system, then let it default. Or if you have a new generation high core processor with a graphic card, then you can try resolution scaling. Don't try directly 4K resolution. Start from default. If you get good performance, then try little high scaling like 1080, 2K, then 4K. I am using 4K. Resolution scale threshold. Let it default. Tick on right color buffers. Tick on VSync. Then tick on asynchronous texture streaming. In audio tab, do nothing. In IO tab, do nothing. Also do nothing in system tab and also in network tab. In advanced tab, sleep timer accuracy, you sleep only. Then go to RSX FIFO accuracy. By using fast, you can get some more FPS, but your game will crash randomly. So, Atomic is best. Select borderless in exclusive full screen mode. Most important driver wake up delay. First try 100 value. If you face game crash somewhere, then try 150. After it, your problem will be solved. If not, then set it to 200. Increase just 50 when you see crash or wanna fix it permanently. In emulator tab, do nothing. For showing FPS, click on performance overlay. Click on apply, then click on save custom configuration. Now close the extra opened items. Let's run the game. Right click on the game and click on boot with custom configuration. Oops, I forget setting up the controller. Let's set it up too. Close the game. My PS4 controller is connected. Now go to pads. In player 1 tab, change the handler. For me, I am selecting DualShock 4 because I am using PS4 controller. Looks, it automatically map the keys. Click on save. Boot the game with custom configuration. Now our controller is working fine. My vengeance ends now. Zeus! Your son has returned. I bring the destruction of Olympus! The Titans will fail again!
As you can see, we are getting 40 to 55 FPS. My 10 to 15 FPS drop due to recording. Otherwise, I will get 60 FPS here. Our configuration is not completed here. I repeat, our configuration is not completed here. For constant 60 to 120 FPS, we have to set up one more thing. Let's close everything. Open lossless scaling app. Set everything same as I have. Frame generation type LFG 3.0. We want double frame rate, so set to X mode. Click on draw FPS. By this you will see game frame rate comparison with double frame generation. In GPU and display, select your graphic card. The same which you set in GPU tab of the emulator. Hide the cursor. In scaling mode, I prefer do nothing for best graphic results. If you want any type of scaling then try LS1, SGSR and BCSS. Both are good in quality. Don't forget selecting full screen in scaling mode. Now boot the game with custom configuration. Look, we are getting 60 FPS in both emulator and in NVIDIA overlay. Open lossless scaling and click on scale. You must have to click on the game under the countdown of lossless scaling. Look, now we get 120 FPS after using lossless scaling. Let's see the result in the game. By the way, in the beginning of the video, you are already seen the results in multiple locations of the games. Let's see one more time. Zeus! Your son has returned! I bring the destruction of Olympus! The Titans will fail again! Wow, the game is running in 4K resolution and 60 plus to 120 but at smooth FPS. OBS drop my 10 to 15 FPS, otherwise I will get constant 90 to 120 FPS here. I bet this is the world best setup guide. This video deserves a subscribe, a humble request for my new viewers. My target is 1 lakh subscribers and definitely this guide video helps you a lot. So support me by subscribing my channel. Your every single subscribe motivate me for making more helpful guides videos for you. Soon I am gonna upload God of War Ascension setup guide video. So please subscribe for helping me reaching in 1 lakh subscribers. Goodbye.